Hi guys, if there's something kids really enjoy doing, then it's playing with their toys. Toys are essential for kids. Parents always buy toys for their children, but kids today seem to get bored with their toys very quickly. And the toy market is booming. There are all kinds of toys out there these days, and some of them can be potentially dangerous. That's right, dangerous toys that can physically harm or have a negative impact on kids' psychological well-being. Okay, so let's have a look at 10 most dangerous kids' toys ever. This type of toy goes by many names. The purpose of it is to improve kids' logical thinking and analytical skills. So the point is that they're all made of small magnetic beads that can be formed into many shapes. However, this toy has proved to be potentially dangerous. As kids tend to swallow small pieces of things, neocubes can do a lot of harm. Magnets are so strong that even when swallowed, they can connect together inside the body, causing terrible ache. Everyone knows that guns, bows, swords, and all kinds of toy weaponry are every boy's favorite. Boys also like playing darts as it happens, so it doesn't take a genius to understand that these type of toys can be rather dangerous, especially because with every year, manufacturers tend to make them more and more realistic without thinking about the consequences. Kids can often be careless, and these type of toys can do a lot of harm. It's a common knowledge that toys that are compressed of small parts can be dangerous for children. Kids have a tendency of tasting things. They always put Lego cubes in their mouth. And that's just a way of exploring the world. That's why toddlers' toys are supposed to be big. However, there are many toys that are made of or contain really small parts that kids can swallow. And that's not the worst thing. It's a lot worse when those parts get stuck in kids' ears and noses. Who could have thought that Barbie dolls are bad for girls? Apparently, Barbie have a negative influence on little girls. First of all, Barbie dolls have absolutely no educational purpose. Then, as you probably have noticed, Barbie's body shape is far from being realistic, which is why the doll's beauty ideal is unhealthy and nothing but damaging for a receptive child's mind. These dolls make girls question their looks, and there's absolutely no room for intelligence stimulation. The problem with many musical toys today is that they can be very loud, far too loud for a child. The norm is believed to be 85 dB max. Despite that, many toys exceed that volume level and can harm and seriously damage kids' hearing or even cause hearing loss. So the sound quality should always meet particular standards. There shouldn't be any noise or rattle, and the sound must have an appropriate tonality. But kids shouldn't play too long, even with those musical toys that meet the required standards, because one way or another, they put a lot of strain on children's delicate hearing. Spinners got really big in 2017. There's hardly a kid who didn't have one. So the creators are saying that spinners are supposed to relieve the stress and help you concentrate. Well, I don't know if that's likely. But one thing is certain. These toys contain small beads that kids can accidentally swallow. Also, because of the immense popularity and high demand, manufacturers began using cheap, poor quality, toxic materials that can't be good for you. Flying toys, toys with props, RC control flying planes and choppers are also potentially dangerous and primarily intended for teenagers. Little kids can easily harm themselves playing around with such toys. Imagine what happened if a kid will start playing with a quad, for example. One careless movement can result in a loss of a finger or even something worse. RC control models can scare children. Many models are quite intricate, and even adults sometimes find it difficult to control them. And the reality of a flying toy is that sooner or later they're going in the floor. Trick toys are not always fun to play with. I mean, electric shock gag pans, fist shooters, and chewing gum cockroaches trick toys can leave emotional scars. Kids should be able to enjoy their toys, rather than be afraid of them. Bright colored, cheap rubber Chinese toys can be the cause of a really strong allergy, or even food poisoning, as those sometimes contain high levels of carbolic acid, also known as phenol. 
Those adorable stuffed toys that most kids find so very attractive are often made of poor quality substances and can cause asthma attacks. But even regular, decent quality stuffed toys can be harmful. These toys are perfect dust collectors and are hotbeds for germs, so it's very important that you take good care of those toys cleaning them regularly. In conclusion, I'd like to mention that toys are not just for fun. Their main purpose is to teach little kids about the complexities of the world, rather than to keep them entertained. So parents should pick toys wisely, because obviously children would be happy with most kinds of toys, but they don't know whether or not they're good for them. That's all for now, folks. Press the like button if you enjoyed the video, tell me what's your favorite toy in the comments, and make sure you subscribe to Real Bizarre. See ya!